This is Short Attention Spin with Laura Menino. Hi, I'm Laura Menino, and welcome to Short Attention Spin. If you were too busy being the best son ever to keep up with the news, well, here's what happened this week. Well, television was officially canceled on Friday. There's now only cat videos or talking to each other. The NFL draft took place this week. It's the only event in which fashionable men get really excited for the opportunity to wear shitty clothes. Putin visited Crimea to celebrate Victory Day, the anniversary of Russia's defeat of Nazi Germany by doing totally not at all Nazi-like stuff like invading other countries, allowing a culture of anti-Semitism, criminalizing homosexuality, and having really creepy parades. Nope, no Nazis here. Well, people born after 1995 are confused why everyone cares so much that Johnny Weir's Olympic bestie wrote an essay in Vanity Fair. Occupy Wall Street protester Cecily McMillan was found guilty of felony assault and could face up to seven years in prison for elbowing a police officer in the eye after he violently grabbed her. Oh, if only we can get Wall Street to accidentally hit a cop in the eye so those assholes can finally be convicted of something. This week we learned the best way to give our military health care is to keep them in war and out of a VA waiting room. And finally, Tuesday marked 10 years that the Friends finale is still unwatched on my DVR. Well, that was this week in the fifth episode of Short Attention Spin. We'll be off for the next two weeks, but in the meantime, you can watch previous episodes here. Follow me on Twitter at Laura Menino. Visit WeMakeMovies.org and subscribe to WMM Originals for more comedy, shorts, filmmaking interviews, podcasts, and more. I'm Laura Menino, and thanks for watching.